Yep, got a little bit of rain. This is deep enough I could kayak through this. Oh, God. The things I'll do to get to a good fishing spot. Almost there. Hey, good morning, Coach Jesse here, and it's like day five of my vacation down here at the Outer Banks. Fortunately, we just got like three and a half days of torrential rain and winds. Pretty much just sat in the cottage for three days going stir crazy. Uh, thankfully, I think it's pretty much blown out and the conditions are looking pretty good for today. So I decided to come back down here to the south end of the bridge. I'm gonna get back out here, see what I can find, continue exploring, maybe some, find some more uh, flounders like I was getting the other day or maybe in some bluefish and stuff. So I'm gonna go out here and make the best of it and uh, catch some fish. Pepsi in it. Places they need to start. Well, that didn't take long. See, the current's going this way, so I always lob it out a little bit. That way, by the time it gets to the bottom, it's pretty much straight down to where you want it to be to help prevent hang ups. Hit the bottom, give it a crank. There's a lot of strokes I usually do bigger sweeps, where it's a little less prone to getting hung up. So basically this whole line here, there's just a nice drop off. It's really rocky, lots of terrain, perfect place to catch a flounder. Yeah, it feels like a flounder. Yep. Too small. tell you as you notice I am close to shore here but you ain't going to be able to do this from those rocks it's just the amount of rocks and stuff that are hidden under the water along this entire line here all you want to do is lose your rigs constantly uh, you got to have some way to get out here and jig it vertically uh, casting is not a good idea either you, you want to keep it straight down that way if you do get snagged you can pedal ahead a little bit and get loose because when you start letting that line scope out some you know, like when it's at an angle in the water in your jig, and that's when you're going to get snagged. You keep it straight down. That way you can feel it as soon as it hits a rock or something. And you can get yourself out of trouble pretty quick. That's not a flounder, I don't think. I don't feel like one. Nope, maybe so. Hey, buddy. That's got one. It's a baby. Not what I'm looking for. Down there. 
18 and three quarters. Well, folks, I'm done for today. Low tide was like an hour ago, but it's still pouring out of here. I could be a couple hours before it slows down and I can really jig effectively. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it, head back home, get some food, hang out with the family. All in all, it was a good day, I had a blast. So anyway, thanks for watching, peace out.